Hey everybody, Mental Fox here with another episode in The Witcher 3 DLC Blood and Wine. Thank you for joining me again. Look at a map and we'll see that we are here by these Fort Aster ruins. There's really nothing here. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen at this place later in the game. If you know, don't tell me. Please. Uh, like I said, we are going to go ahead and run over to this place. So I want to go ahead and mark it. And uh, we'll take out another one of these Night for Hire things. And then while we're over here, we might as well go ahead and do these as well. And then perhaps we'll run back over here and over here. We'll see how much time we have. 403, let's go ahead and call Roach. Get over there a little bit quicker. Oh, Roach appears inside of the compound. Come on, Roach. Over here, dude. Roach. <laughs> I was wondering if Roach was going to open those doors. Nope, Roach just walked through them. Alright, let's go for a ride. Nice day for a ride. Does it ever rain here? Have we seen it rain in Toussaint? Oh no. don't remember. It's this cute little place. Is this where our uh, next quest takes place? I think it is. Slow it's, now. Yeah. Got some waterfalls here. So, this night for hire quest that we're doing, it just says... Someone was looking for the help of knights or other strongmen. That's it. So we really don't know what these are all going to be. There's something running around over there. It might... Come on, Rose. Yeah, it's a bad guy. I think they're uh, probably um, bandits. Whoops. Probably are. This is a bunch of them. Uh, if that's the case, let's go ahead and put some uh, Hanged Man's Venom on our uh, sword. Put that on there. What the... Oh, put it on our steel weapon. I knew that. New marker, abandoned sites. Come on. Come on. Ow, whoa. Yep, we got some bandits here. Oh, he's got a stinking shield. I mean, I really wanted to take him out so he wouldn't shoot us anymore. Oh man, it's dangerous to be up here. Oh man, oh, he's blocking everything. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, well, everybody's missing me. So I got this jerk here. Oh, somebody's shooting me again with arrows. Freaking annoying. Let's see. Can I get around behind them? Or just come over here so they don't shoot me with arrows anymore. Come on, you stupid bandit. Ow. He's blocking everything I'm hitting at him. I tell you, man, these arrows are so freaking annoying. Oh, look at this place. Pretty neat. Look how many! Look how many dudes! Oh, jeez! What the heck, Carol? What was that all about? Oh, gosh! I think I accidentally took two swallows. There's a bunch of these dudes, man. Catch a jerk on fire. Who else wants some of this? Uh huh, you're on fire. That guy's actually running back. He's down. Uh, aren't you guys dead yet? Oh man, that guy hit me hard. Oh, don't turn your back on me, dude. <laughs> Crimson red, man. Look at those guys just hanging out over there. What's up, guys? Let's see if this does anything. Oh, 107. Yeah, you're not the only one who could shoot bolts. Uh, you know, I mean, this... You know, it's kind of sad, the game AI. I could conceivably stand here forever whittle these guys down to nothing. 
That's lame. Who wants to do that? Haha, oh, you missed me. Oh, he's not dead yet. Yeah, die, mofo. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's still a guy back there. You jerks. Haha, uh -huh, you're on fire. You shouldn't get so close. Now this guy's got a stinking shield. These guys are annoying to fight. Can't catch him on fire. That shield protects against that. Got my art up. Got a couple hits off on him there. Not good, says Geralt. So this guy's bleeding now. Oh, Ard didn't do it that time. Damn it. Get a little bit of health here. I don't know, you tell me. Still more of them left alive. You can see them on my mini-map. We're not done yet. Yep, this jerk here. Hey, jerk. Excuse me? Catch him on fire again. Finish him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Your next jerk. Oh, look at you. Uh, I really want to take out my frustrations on this jerk. Good job, Geralt. We survived. Not a problem. Almost a problem, though. They almost got me a couple of times. But we got him. We got him. Beautiful. Must be so awesome to be able to create something like that. I know it's a big team that did it, but still. Just to look back and see that. Pretty awesome. You're welcome. You now let's uh, loot these bodies that we worked so hard to uh, eliminate. So this is like a little town here now. It's pretty cool. Milady. Carol would never say that. Lots of bodies over here. We could loot. Grabbing some goodies. No one gives a hoot about this I don't even look what's in the bags, I just pick it up. Okay. Well, now we have completed three of the contracts for the Camerlingo. This is a cute little place here. I really like it. So let's go into this pub. The Ruddy Brush uh, Auberge? Auberge? Aubert? Beats me, man. French is not my language. <laughs> a bosom in the hands, worth four on a winch. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Coming through. Hello. Praised be our Lord Lepiota. You come in his name. You are his avatar. Nope. Just a witcher who happened to be passing through. Pretty much. By the prophet's intervention, he was your guide. He nudged your footsteps here. If you say so. <laughs> what shall we call you, hero? <sighs> I'm Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Geralt! Lovely, it rings. Sacred it sounds. Do you thirst or hunger? Oh, show me what you got. Mm. Let me see what you're serving. Mm. She's got some cards. Ghoul. Arrakis. Don't I already have these? Ice Giant and Harpy. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have these, don't I? Let's see. All right, why can't I? Oh, probably because I'm talking to her. So Ghoul and Arrakis. Let me see here. Farewell. Take care now. You you, are you take care now. Already. There we go. Uh, so 
let's see here. This is it says all cards. Cards in deck and card collection. I don't I think this is just the cards that I don't currently have selected, right? And then, I mean, what's an easy way to search for cards? I don't think there is an easy way. I mean, do I just have to look through every hand? Um, I don't know, man. I just feel like I already have... I guess they'd be in monsters, wouldn't they? So, Ghoul and Arrakis. Well, see, here's one of the Arrakis... Arrakai? Arrakisai? Arrakises? I don't know. There's, yeah, see, this is just a plain old Arrakis card. I already have one of those. And I thought I had a ghoul, but I guess maybe I don't? Or maybe I do and it's just over here because it's a piece of crap card. Wow, Gontro Dim is only a two? Kind of surprising. Yeah, here's a ghoul. I mean, how come the game isn't telling me that I already have these cards? It's kind of annoying. I mean, it, I thought it used to tell me that. But it's not doing it anymore, which makes it very, very difficult to collect cards. Geralt of Rifia, mm -hmm. our savior. That's me. So, uh, do I have this card? I'm probably. These are crappy cards. They're not even worth the trouble. I. I don't know, man. Am I? Am I doing something wrong? Am I? Forgetting something? I don't think I am. I, I thought that the game told us whether we had the card or not. I wish it did. Oh well, farewell. Take care now. You you, you take care so now. Alright. You'll get over it. Oh, this place is a back door. Let's look at this place on the map. So this place is called Fox Hollow. How nice. In a small valley at the foot of Mount Gorgon lies the village of Fox Hollow. This village's fields, inexplicably and miraculously, grow pots. Earthenware vessels spring unbidden from the ground as if through some magic trick worked by nature, no human intervention required. The pots come in all shapes and sizes, which is why Fox Hollow maintains trade connections with the village of Dudnu in Mecht. For that village's fields inexplic inexplicably and miraculously grow lids <laughs> of all shapes and sizes. Okay, it's bizarre. It's probably a reference to something that I'm not getting. So we got another undiscovered location up here. But then we got like all these little buildings and huts around here, which, you know, may or may not contain stories or quests, you know? So, I don't know whether I should run over to these places or not. I don't know, I have to... I don't know, man. I'm gonna say, I have to think that if there is a quest there, the game's gonna take us there at some point, but not necessarily. So let's just run over here, and then we'll run up here, and then we'll run up here. It won't take very long. It's not very far. Oh, pff, that's not a way through. Into this way. Greetings. So yeah, this place is adorable. Geralt's gonna go for a little wade in the water here. What's this all about? Interesting. Aw. Yeah, these cute little houses here. Nothing story related, but it certainly fleshes out the game worlds. Hey, little boy, what's up? Oh, man. About floored him. Let's uh, take a quick meditate. Actually, yeah, let's take a quick meditate for an hour. Get our potions back. There we go. I'm going to take one of those potions right now. The wolves. New marker, persons in distress. Well, what do you know? See, there is a reason to come over here. Oh, goody. Look what we've got. These jerks. We got a jerk party going on over here. Hey, jerks. Hey, me, 
Get it, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, gosh. Haha. <laughs> Should have fought twice. <laughs> He's that's so gross. Hey. Girl practically backhanded him. We just saved a person in distress. Glad we came over here. Nice. I owe you my life, unknown knight. How are you dubbed? <laughs> dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scully Wax sought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many, and I I failed. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's see where he takes us. Why not? Fine. Lead the way. Let's see where this place is. I'm just curious. Of course, now I can't loot these guys, but they probably didn't have anything that great anyway. Even if it's not too far away, we could come back. Vermintine. Is there some way I might help you? Well, um, I don't think bandits are your only problem. Why is Geralt saying this? Vineyard's glory days seem like a thing of the past. Hmm. It seemed better times, true. For bandits are not our only problem. Enormous yellow parasites, their ever-growing plague we also must contend with. Maid Matilda tries her best, but when folk fear to go out and work, what is she to do? Is he talking about arch spores, maybe? The yellow ones are the bad ones. Oh, that's it, huh? So I don't think we want this guy to craft anything for us, but we, maybe we could sell All him right. some crap. What do you have? Uh, I know I picked up some stuff. Look at all this crap we could sell to this guy. Oh, he's pretty rich. Man, I mean, this stupid sword right here required level 42. I'm not interested in keeping it. Uh, we can just go ahead and sell him this stuff. I mean, other guys would give us more money for it, but uh, I don't care. Uh, actually, he's an armorer, isn't he? I don't know. Whatever. We sold stuff to him. That's fine. We're up to over 60,000 now. I'm happy about that. And we got our weight back down to a better number. And that's all I really want from this guy. Thanks. See you later. So, he mentioned yellow... Uh, I forget what he called it. I mean, do we just leave this place or are we supposed to go investigate? What's going on around here? Where are we on the map? Oh, holy cow, we're way over here now. It's a little further away than I thought it would be. That's okay, though. It's not that big of a deal. So we can just run over here to this notice board and check it out. And then we could make our way back over there, maybe. Unfortunately, we're at another place where there's no other fast travel points. I guess it's possible that there's one around here and I just haven't discovered it yet. Yeah, kind of the way that guy talked made it sound like there was going to be a quest, but I guess not. Some horses in there. Oh, that's an old dam. We got peasants and a couple of peasants here. That's yeah, a cute little place. It's quite charming. But, um,. I don't see any fast travel points around here. I mean, not that I need run right this minute, but what if I wanted to come back? What's this over here? Is this a bridge? It's pretty fancy. Yeah, look at this place. Plegman's Bridge. Huh. Well, that was a merchant. Hey, what's up, trader? Greetings, traveler. Have you any needs? Ah, uh, show me your wares. Mind if I glance at what you got? 
He has nothing I am interested in. I mean, maybe I may want some of this stuff at some point in the game, but right now I don't. So see you later, bye. So long. Good luck on the path. Hey, thanks, man. You too. I spoke the Lord so this is neat. So where are we heading? We are going north. Well, there's a notice board right here. Let's go on across here to this notice board. And then after that, man, there's nothing around for a long, long way. Here's that windmill where we uh, fought that giant when we first arrived here. So we'll go over here and look at this notice board and pick up yet more quests because if there's one thing we don't have enough of, it's quests. Plegman's Bridge. Oh, there is a marker here. Plegman's Bridge. Built during the reign of Duchess Caraberta, this bridge was meant to facilitate traffic between vineyards on opposite banks of the Sans Retour. It was named after a pilgrim quite popular in Toussaint at the time, a certain disciple of the prophet Lebiota who, on this very spot, performed one of his many miracles, traversing the river without getting his feet wet. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we have a fast travel point here. I placed the first beat, but I made the best offer. Mademoiselle, Monsieur, we must remain calm. Well, well, what have we here? What have we here? A smashing place we have. Each time I come here, by the bells, I can taste. People are chatty here. Most amusingly. The locals believe all that tribe. All right, landscape portraits. All right, you guys need to shut up so I could read. They claim it was cursed. As a graduate of the famed Faculty of Applied Portraiture at Oxenford Academy, I am prepared to capture your likeness on canvas with Toussaint's mountainous landscape in the background. Posing time depends on the size of painting and exactness of detail requested. Negotiable prices. Find me at the Grand Place, Auguste Benoit. Widow seeks nanny. Nanny needed for the offspring ages four and seven of a recently perished knight errant. Oh, how sad. Candidates should be soft on the eyes, free of vice, well-mannered, and patient. Soft on the eyes, okay. Antoinette de Nurigas. Milling services. Nowhere else can grind your grain as finely as Count de la Croix's mill. We request all milling orders be submitted by 10 in the morning. Okay. Dung diddlers. All those who are in any way affiliated with Coronata Vineyard are dung diddling degenerates. And I have only one thing to say to them. Go botch your grandma. Oh my. An invitation from Starling Stragon. Rumors have been circling of late that Starling's Dragon commits despicable deeds. This is vile slander, and on behalf of Stragon, we invite all merchants to pay a visit to our hands at the ruins of Arthak Place, our palace. We are sure we can reach an understanding, as Starling's Dragon is interested in trade in a variety of branches. We await all prospective business partners. Okay. And finally, warning. Vermentino vineyard workers diddle their own mums, and one of them does his da, too. What the hell? Okay. New marker, undiscovered location. Well, let's look at the map. So, we read all that to get one undiscovered location, and this is it, because this wasn't here just a moment ago. Alright, well, let's run back across the... Oh, whoa, there's a quest here. Hold everything. There is a quest here. Hold the phone. What's going on? For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, Diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. 
<laughs> Geralt's just eavesdropping. Well, happy? This is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Batilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? <laughs> uh, know all about women, actually, or a witcher? Um, I don't think Geralt would think he knows all about women. He spent too much time around Yennefer to think that. A witcher, so no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. S so will you help? Um, you know I don't work for free. Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? Whoa, okay. This guy's gonna pay a lot. Could you not reduce it a shave? Could you not what? reduce it a shave? Even more? That sounds fair. Sure, I'll help. That's not a bad payment. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah. I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Hmm. What's going on? Girl's like, hey, I'll meet you out back. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a cold black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you. Because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. <laughs> no coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My Cooper and Blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths. And strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Oh yeah, how much more? Oh really, you're going to pay me more, huh? I have a feeling you're not going to pay me more. I sense we're close, very close. Yeah. How close? I sense we're close. We're still not close. close. I sense we're close. Hmm. Very close. Yeah, maybe she's not willing to pay that much more. Fine. Okay. Settled. It's a little bit more. I can help. At least try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. <laughs> Good grief. Man. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. So, this was a quest we already had. Wine Wars Belgard. Whoa! Quest completed! What? 
<laughs> New quest, Wine Wars Coronata. Huh? New quest, Wine Wars Vermentino. Okay, so we completed a quest called Wine Wars Belgard. Uh, how did we complete it? It was probably just simply to travel here. But I kind of want to know. So, pursuing a notice board in Toussaint, Geralt found the appeal of a ducal clerk. The clerk was seeking all manner of vagabonds, knights errant, and mercenaries. The posting did not seem to be an offer of Witcher's work. Even so, Geralt decided to learn more about this mystery job. The clerk needed assistance. He was to find a new owner and steward for the Belgard Vineyard, which at the time remained the property of the duchy. The owners of two other vineyards were completing, or I'm sorry, were competing for control of Belgard. They were Matilda Vermentino and Liam de Coronata. Okay. Well, I don't really know how we helped the clerk. But we have two new quests. Wine Wars Coronata. Wine is important, this we all know. Yet in Toussaint, wine is sacred. When Geralt found himself embroiled in a dispute between two great winemaking families, represented by Matilda Vermentino and Liam de Coronata, he knew he was treading on shaky ground. Nonetheless, he took a side, resolving to help Liam deal with the problems of his, at his vineyard. So if we do this one, we'll be siding with Liam. And then there's this one here. In the Duchy of Wine, there is nothing more important than this noblest of beverages. And when two important winemaking families began to quarrel over which would assume control of one of the duchy's oldest vineyards, all new sparks would fly. Fully aware of the circumstances, Geralt nonetheless decided to help Matilda Vermentino deal with the troubles at her vineyard, even if this meant making Liam de Coronata his foe. So we have to decide which one of these we're going to do. And of course, I'm more inclined to help the pretty lady. But even beyond that, she's paying us a little bit more. <laughs> so that's good enough reason for me to help her instead of him. Uh, I wonder if there is a possibility that we could learn a little bit more about this feud between them and find out who's really being the jerk. Master Witcher, have you any news? Uh, is there anything special about Belgard? This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. <laughs> Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success, brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. Okay, farewell. Take care now. So, we can't talk to Matilda? Master we cannot. Have you any news? This guy's just gonna butt in every time Take I try to talk now. to them. So yeah, I mean, she is accusing him of sabotaging her place. He is accusing her of sabotaging his place. Who's telling the truth? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll find out. You know? And if we look at this quest here on our map, see this right over here. So that's uh, Vermentino. And then um, if we go back to his quest, Coronata, his place is uh, right up here. But like I said, I think I'm going to help her just because she's paying a little bit more. Or at least I'm going to help her first. We'll see. Let's go back across the bridge here. We'll go to this undiscovered location. See what's up with it. Here we read that whole notice board. And really, the only new quest we got was this undiscovered location. We didn't get anything else at all. Kind of surprised me. But there was a quest right nearby, so... Go see what the heck's going on down here. Then we got some dudes down here. Are they going to be bad guys? Well, it's hard to say. Let's hit F5. Something I keep forgetting to do. Empty New wine bottles, leftovers. 
Huh. Oh, interesting. There's a new marker. Whoops, on our map. The Prophet Lebiota's Footsteps. Here you can solve a problem related to the construction of Lebiota's statue. <laughs> Good grief. I'm just blown away by how big this DLC is. It's a whole game. That's why I'm here. What the old lady's fixing for supper. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Piss off, rat bull. Hop, skip, trot. Mind your manners. What the? You good. What the? Whoa, whoa! New quest: big feet to fill. The second group. Well, what was the first group? What the hell's this? The inhabitants of Toussaint are considered very polite and pleasant folk, but there are exceptions to the every rule. Geralt came across just such an exception in the form of a group of drunken warri warriors, drunken workers gathered around a fire. This lot had a strange idea of hospitality. They served him insults as an hors d'oeuvre, then moved on to fisticuffs for the main course. Okay. Oh, and it says defeat the drunk worker, so we just have to fight one of them? Come here, drunk worker. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Come here. Oh man, he hit me. Ouch, ouch, ouchity. Oh gosh. Okay, hey. Alright, we are uh, not off to a good start. Luckily we have some health we could take though. He looks like Stretch Armstrong. He's all rubbery looking. So I was not taking him seriously at all. Not at all, man. Huh, interesting. I mean, we can use our Quen. You know, we can uh, heal ourselves. It's really not a fair fight. Ouch. It's not allowed. That kind of beating feast is over. Great. So uh, now I got two guys to deal with here. health here. Imagine if they could take health. Make for a very long game. Carol, move away! Carol, move away! What are you doing, man? I don't know why, but Carol kept moving forward. I wasn't making him move forward. That was weird. Yeah, I am off to a bad start. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Gosh, I'm gonna lose to these losers. Sheesh. I hate to just stand back and wait for my health to come back. It's not really fair, but oh well. Okay, he's down. You know we're going to have to end up fighting all these guys. A little bit more health. Let's see, don't see why we can't use Quinn. It's really not fair, but, you know, we're a witcher. We have certain skills. Ah. This is fun. Get impatient. And I'm trying strong hits, too. I'm not doing any damage to him at all. I mean, I guess I could use my um, art or something, but I'd probably piss these guys off. These other guys. Oh, damn it. Alright, 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 alright. Back away, Geralt. Get my Quinn up. They don't seem to care that I'm using Quinn. Okay, he's down. Now what? Saint Lebioda sent you. I must now repair my wagon. They await me at the building site. So long. What? What? <laughs> Did that make sense to anybody? What the hell? I guess maybe I was supposed to talk to that guy first. I don't know. Okay. Oh, right.
Alrighty then. Alright, that made zero sense. Well, let's see if we could find that quest in our completed quests. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, who was that guy? I don't know, like I said, I guess I did it in the wrong order, but I really didn't do anything other than walk over to those guys, and then all of a sudden they decided to attack. Jerks. Big feat to fill the second group. After the ruckus, the workers decided they had no more reason to linger and set off to their destination, which was the building site of the Prophet Lebiota statue. Okay. Alrighty. Huh. Yeah, I can't say that that made any sense at all. I mean, uh... Where's the statue? Where is it? I don't see a statue. It should be right here. But, um... I don't see anything. <laughs> what the hell? That made no sense at all. Here you can solve a problem related to the construction of Leviota's statue. Alright, I guess we solved it. I don't know. Let's go here. Let's do this first before we go up here. Come here, Roach. Where are you, Roach? You're kind of dumb, Roach. I mean, I love you, but... You're kind of dumb. Why did you... have to appear in the water on that side of the tree? Alright, let us uh, go over to this other notice board. This is kind of cool. Riding around at night. It's, uh... Very different looking. Very neat. To this town here, keep an eye open for uh, quests. Didn't see any in my quick run through there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. I'm going to the wrong place, aren't I? I'm down here. I want to go over here. I'm following the stupid line. Going to the wrong place. Castle Ravello Vineyard. Oh. Can't pull one over. <laughs> running through their vineyard here. Alright, how do we get in here? Alright. New marker, Castle Ravello Vineyard. Let's check it out. Connoisseurs claim the best wines of Matena or Alba do not hold a candle to even the most mediocre labels from the Sands Retour Valley. Among the countless larger and smaller local vineyards found here, Castle Ravello is the most renowned, and for good reason. From its slopes come Pomino, Fiorino, uh, Fiorano, Everluce, and Est Est, the wine realm's uncontested kings. Awesome. Greetings to you, gentlemen. Rolling on an empty stomach. Oof, dreadful. Notice board. Look at this fancy place. Think there'll be a new quest here? Organizing an expedition. Anyone who desires glory and fame is invited to join me at the Grand Place on the 17th of the current month. I plan to set out in good company and in search of adventure. We are sure to encounter many damsels in distress and have ample opportunity to help the oppressed. Determined de Breard. Okay. Ladies, keep an eye on your men. Consider yourselves warned. At the top of Lynx Crag dwells a witch who muddles with menfolk's minds. I don't know what sorcery the Trollop uses, but ever since my husband visited her, he's changed beyond recognition. Beware the witch of Lynx, Lynx Crag, a concerned wife. Okay. Warning. It is well known the Scallywags at Coronada have been underpricing their plonk for years, leading to the bankruptcy of many a small vineyard. But now they've truly gone to botching far. They've, bought, they've brought buckets of vine-devouring caterpillars to Vermentino. You'll get your comeuppance, rat diddlers. Okay, so these people are accusing Coronada of sabotaging Vermentino. 
Beauclair Oak Lumber for sale. If you're looking to buy some Beauclair Oak and don't mind if the paperwork's not all in order, I can help out. Ask for Philippe at the Rue Can Logging Outpost. Needed Master Magiker. I need a hard hinied man who won't spill his sphincter at the sight of sorcery and can give a witch a good fecking hiding if it comes to it. You'll find me chopping wood near Fox Hollow. My name's Jacob, and chopping wood's what I do. All you poop for brains, feckers think you're jesters. I'm warning you, jesting's over. Jacob, woodcutter of Fox Hollow, okay? Finally, wine or poison. A friend of mine had some wine from the Coronado Vineyard. Afterwards, his stomach ached for the whole day, and he puked like some rainbow-spurting fountain and inevitable questions got to be posed. Should Coronado wine bottles be labeled wine or poison which will make you die a slow and painful death? A concerned friend. So more bad things about Coronado. Unfortunately, I don't remember what we read at the last notice board we were at. Was there a lot of bad things about Vermentino wine? I don't remember. Well, that uh, revealed a new undiscovered location and a new quest called A Knight's Tales. Needed master, yeah, okay. We already read that. So our map here, uh, who knows which undiscovered location it opened up, but uh, now there's a whole bunch of them around here. And if we look at our quests, we'll see that we have a new one called uh, A Knight's Tales. A short distance from Castle Ravello, Geralt happened on a notice posted by Jacob a lumberjack. The logger was in search of someone who had no fear of spells and could thus face a witch. This was the very description of the witcher, no two ways about it, so it was no surprise that our hero took an interest in the notice and decided to visit Jacob. And if we look at our map, we will see that yes indeed he is right nearby. Uh, let's see, over here is an herbalist. I don't know, should we go visit the herbalist real quick? Maybe they'll have a little quest for us. I don't know. Look at this beautiful place. Very, very cool. Locked. Read. Herb store. Well, hopefully the herb store is open 24 hours. Hello, how are you? Mint, welcome, wanderer. In need of herbs, perhaps? Wart for a sore stomach, or...? Prefer willow bark or iris root for stomach aches. Wart can cause dizziness, nausea. Forgive me. It's just that you do not have the look of one familiar with herbs. What looks that? And looks deceive, anyway. Me, I'm not out for common weeds that grow in any meadow. Need rare ingredients. Can you help me out, or should I move on? You must judge for yourself. Hmm. Oh, I meant I meant no offense. Meant no offense. And I took none. I should be the one to apologize for judging by appearance alone. Tell me, your knowledge, how did you gain it? From an herbalist living nearby? No, from somewhere a long way off. Care Morin, Northern Kedwin. Gods? That's the continent's other end. What are you doing in Tucson? Same thing I do anywhere. Killing monsters. Oh, okay. Hey, let's play her a game of Gwent. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I play Gwent. Nature's bounty. What the? She's talking to us? It's weird. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna... I don't know. Let's, um... Boy, Scoyatel's not a not a deck I'm used to playing. Yeah, let's play it. What the heck? Would you like to go first? No, I like to let the opponent go first. Uh, so we got this uh, Neato Spy card here. We have this Neato Spy card here. Oh no, this is a medic. This isn't a spy. Another, oh my gosh, look at all these. <laughs> Jeez. Then we have this, ran, this 
normal card here, this one here, this one here. This is one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, this is a pretty cool card, and then we get this one right here. Um, sure do have a lot of medic cards. I mean, they could be useful. I don't know, let's just go with this hand that we've been dealt. Let's do it. I don't know, this should be interesting. <laughs> All these zero point cards down here. Yeah, well, she's gonna start off in the front line. Uh, I like to know what her special ability is. Look at three random cards from your opponent's hand. How useful is that to the computer anyway? I don't know. We have this ability, doubles the strength of all your ranged combat units. Hmm, that's pretty cool. He's ranged, right? So we could double his strength. Oh, they're gonna scorch. They're not gonna waste any time. It's kind of weird. I'm not too terribly worried about it with all these medic cards, though. If you want to waste your scorch on a dumb six, go ahead. Ten. Well, let's go ahead and throw this out. Get ourselves two cards. Why wait, right? Well, we got a commander's horn. And our opponent passed. Why the heck did our opponent pass? I guess this is the other card we picked up. Hmm. Well, um, gosh. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I'm actually not sure what to do. I mean, I don't want to go overboard here. Uh, unfortunately, the only seven I've got, and I'd want to play a seven because that'll give me 13, which would win. The only seven I got is this awesome card here, but I could get it back with a medic card, so... But the funny thing is, is that if I play this, it'll scorch this card, then I won't even need this card's points, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's the way I gotta play it. Throw this out there, and then we'll just redraw it again next time. See, so it's gonna scorch that guy. No, it didn't. Oh, that's right. It has to be... The, they have to equal 10 or more. Okay. 13 to 12. We win. Very strange. Why did they pass? So we're going to pass and win the first hand. Very strange. We get to go first. Hurrah. Uh, I'm going for it. We're going to go ahead and try to win this hand. Why wait around? Alright, that's uh, not too scary of a card right there. Go ahead and throw this ranged card out. Okay, he's gonna double this guy. Weird. So this card here... adds plus one to all units in the row. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go ahead. Okay, a little bit of not much going on there. I am going to run out of point cards, man. Well, let's hope we can muster something here. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's going to be hard to beat. I feel like. Alright, that's not a very scary card either. Well, let's go ahead and throw this out. Just make this crazy. 57 points. Three cards for that one. Okay, Biting Frost is going to reduce all of these. That sucks. But still, they've only got six points. I'm, I'm not too terribly worried. Especially since I could double these with this ability. We're going to go ahead and throw this out. Which will allow us to draw a card from our deck. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this one. That's not too scary. I just realized that they hurt themselves too by doing that. They have one card left. Not even a little bit worried. Let's use our ability. Double all that, get 66 points. What are you gonna do with your one card? 
Oh, got to use her ability. Okay, well, yay. That just gave her another turn is all. So we'll go ahead and throw this out. And then um, we'll play this card. That's a lot of points, man. What do you got? And she passes. <laughs> That's... Slaughtered her. That was easy. She um, really didn't have any really scary cards. Okay, we got some crowns. And we got Clan Brockvar Archer card. I don't know if that's worth the damn or not. New quest. Gwent never fear. Skellige's here. What? Whoops. Huh. Huh. Check this out. We g I guess we just got a new Skellige card from her. While traveling into Saunt, Geralt learned of the existence of a new deck. It was inspired by the Skellige Isles and their inhabitants. Since the new Skellige faction had just made its debut, Geralt decided to seize the moment and gather all the cards belonging to it before other collectors could get their paws on them. Huh, okay, so I guess that deck that we just got, or that card that we just got from her was a Skellige card. I'm going to guess that... Oh no, there, there's locations on the map, much to my surprise. Look at this. Well, this is cool. So it's telling us where we can get the cards. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Great. Well, there sure are a lot of them to get. Huh. Cool. Well, that's neat. Well, good. I'm glad we played her. Curious about the card we picked up. So, Skellige Faction. Um, what is the Skellige specific card? It's right here. Yeah, Clan Brockvar Archer. Eh, it's a decent card. My herb aficionado. Here to buy? Yeah, let's just see what she's got. Right. Show me what you got. And she sells herbs, unsurprisingly. So, not interested in buying any of that. Not interested in selling any of this, because it doesn't weigh anything, so there's no reason to sell it at all. See you later. I'm off. See you later. All right. Got a cool new quest. Glad we stopped by to see her. I did not expect that to happen. Well, this is where I'm going to end this episode. <laughs> Man, when we come back next time, I guess we'll start going to these question marks around here. So freaking many of them. Good grief. I just... I'm sorry. I, I'm just... I'm just... My mind boggles at how big this DLC is. Look at all these question marks up here, man. Good grief. Well, like I said, we'll go to some of these question marks next time unless somebody has a suggestion or a request or a request that I do a different quest. No, well, thanks for joining me on this play session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, want to let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.